Hey there, welcome to another segment of game reviews. Rocks or not? So let me tell you how I feel about the game. So let's start it off right here. So, you know, I used to play Lego Star Wars all the time as a kid, especially like ever since that they started uh, pumping out Lego Star Wars. I remember that they started with the original series, uh, A New Hope, Empire Strikes Back. Actually, they started with the prequel and the original series. That, that is my favorite one. Going from there to this one and stuff really surprised me because the one thing that, that I did not see coming was voice acting. Voice acting has like really been like, you know, different in the, in the Lego game though, but I love it and stuff and it's, and it's not just that that I love and everything it's the new things that they put in here like I don't remember them having like this little sort of thing with them you know like there's so many classes in the game little mechanics like this with a little net gun or whatever and stuff it's just it, it's funny and stuff like you can have a little comical humor and stuff especially with this part you can make them look like they're humping and all that though but you know that's just me that's just me having fun and stuff though the one thing i really liked about like that they implemented with the new series of lego or of, of star wars movies is finn with the lightsaber like i think it was good that like technically he's not a jedi on the game though but he's a hero without force powers though but he builds like the original jedis in the in the in the older lego games and stuff because like now that they just use the force though but that's not that bad and i think they implemented the the sequels pretty good and stuff like you know i haven't had a chance to play all the dlcs though but hey man there's always the future like the one thing that like you know there there's more than just one thing there's multiple things i love about this like back in the day when i used to like when I was younger and stuff, I'd I'd be playing Lego Star Wars all night. I, like especially when it's a game <laughs> that you would rent from Blockbuster. Like I used to do that all the time, just rent games from Blockbuster, and Lego Star Wars was one of them and stuff. And I don't like I'd be playing all night, go to bed, wake up unless if I had school and stuff, and just freaking game out, you know. And or hell, you just come home and you play it and you're like I just play some Lego Star Wars. <laughs> I don't, you know, like, I know it's a kid's game and all that, though, but it does a good job of filling in some of the holes. Like, for instance, like, you wouldn't see Leia, uh, a Lego Leia kissing a Lego Luke Skywalker, let alone twice, though. And I thought it was kind of funny, like, how they kind of, like, just written something else instead. And, you know, it was like, and it, and, it, and it just came out as a classic lego star wars and stuff like before lego star wars just did not have voice acting it would just be like just silent humor and stuff but you would get it nonetheless though and like and i feel like with them going with voice acting you can't go back to that now and it's just like and i think it's that much better it's just it's, it's really just that much better and stuff and i like how they implemented um filling up the gauges and stuff because before it would just be like one gauge that you need to fill up though but now it's like it's three gauges and stuff it makes it a little bit more challenging and stuff the people who make lego star wars are always pumping out a new lego game and stuff like like mostly like lego Star Wars is what they're known for and like and i feel like when disney bought um uh, Star Wars and stuff and they started making new stuff the Lego team was like hell yeah Because it's you know new company buys it you're gonna get new stuff and there's more work to go and And I think they did a really good job I I don't know if they used these episodes before in any other past Lego games Like it's really been a long time for me like you know I feel like if you play one Lego game you played them all and stuff though, but that's all right you know, and like I feel like there is a little bit of bugs in here and stuff though, but it's really not that bad like You know, it's like I feel like well, I'll, I'll get to that later though But you know, there's a lot of things like you know Star Wars fans in general They always have an opinion about something like for instance We talked about the last Jedi and everything when I was playing this game live and you know It's like we were talking about the bomber Part in the beginning and stuff it's like you know this kind of feels like world war ii it's like it's not that it's a bad scene and everything it's just that like you know it's just like i feel like it was a whole plot with the last jedi with them being stuck on a ship kind of like turn people off especially the part with the uh, leia just kind of 
floating through space and then magically gets back to the ship though but you know let's let's not go over traumatic experiences shall we we're here to talk about lego star wars the one like there's another new thing that i like is disguising yourself before you would just have to switch out to the to a different character or something or you'd have more characters in in general following you though but i like that you can get into a disguise if you're a hero in this game you can get into imperial um disguises and stuff and you can use the terminals and stuff that the imperial characters use and that's pretty cool and stuff um i kind of like what the like how they do it also implement the droids and stuff um working on stuff like like they they make these new little puzzles which is really nice and stuff like i don't remember if there was puzzles before because like i remember you'd be doing stuff though but i do not remember puzzles and i think this is a nice little um switch up from before and all that though but hell man that's just I, I guess that's just lego for you and stuff like they've probably been doing this stuff with other lego games though i just haven't been paying attention like like i love the franchise and everything though but it's just star wars legos is more my thing well except for dc uh legos though but the one thing i did have a problem with is flying like i couldn't like it was kind of hard getting it together because like i'm on an xbox one controller and stuff you gotta like use both joysticks to like be yeah though but like i did not expect to crash like i thought it was just gonna stop and that's just one thing that kind of surprised me and that, that really got me laughing though but yeah if you crash on it you're gonna die so we're gonna get this nine out of ten uh not because of the crash or whatever though but um you know there has been a few little bugs here and there and stuff um like i feel like i like i'm giving it a nine out of ten for you know a lot of reasons but i really love the game and i'm i really want to just say thank you for making this game um where like whatever company I, I please i apologize for not remembering your name though but man they did a great job like implementing the the story of the game even comedy with the droids coming out in the first one da, 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 da. though but hell so all right so i hope y'all are having a nice day um go out there go play go play some games play a star wars game and may the force be with you hey thanks for watching come hit that like and subscribe come take a look at the new merch shop and everything got some mugs get, come get yourself a t-shirt if you want you know just Hell, come join the Discord, got a Facebook group, come join me on Twitter. Everything that, uh, all of my socials are going to be in the description right below. So, uh, thanks for coming, man.